Hi guys, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. Thanks for joining me for another furniture makeover tutorial. This little side table was a bit plain to start off with, but it had a lot of potential. For this project, I used Dixie Belle's White Lightning and Slick Stick Bonding Primer. I also used Dixie Belle's Sandbar Chalk Mineral Paint, Desert Rose Mineral Paint, Tobacco Road Voodoo Gel Stain, Clear Wax, Brown Wax, Gold Gilding Wax, and Dixie Dirt. Tools I used for this project include a lot of Dixie Bell brushes, synthetic and natural. I used the wood graining tool. You'll need a hairdryer. I also used a drill, a set of pliers, some wood glue, an applicator pad and an artist brush. I'm also using Would You Bend's Applique uh, 0349 for this project. This piece was quite glossy, so after cleaning with white lightning and rinsing off my cleaner, I applied Dixie Belle's Slick Stick Bonding Primer. I used a synthetic brush and a roller while adding my Slick Stick. You can just use a brush, but I quite like the eggshell finish that the roller provides. Uh, either way is just fine. So adding Slick Stick is not always necessary, but I used it as a bit of insurance because I was going to be selling this uh, project. You'll need to do two coats of Slick Stick and give them a couple of hours in between coats to dry. It's then best to give it 24 hours before you add your next layer of paint. I use Dixie Belle's Desert Rose Silk Mineral Paint for this project. It's such a beautiful shade of pink. I applied it to the entire piece uh, using a synthetic brush. It's Dixie Belle's Mini, uh, but any synthetic brush will do fine. I also added the paint to the back of the project because as it's a side table, it could be in the middle of the room. I decided to add an applique to the front. This is from Would You Bend at 0349. To attach it, I need to drill a hole, so I'm just using a standard drill with a small drill bit. The backing from Would You Bend is very handy as a base for doing this. You just wanna go really slow, make sure you do all your measurements and line everything up. Next, I added a new hole on the drill front for where my new hardware was going. I then used pliers to break my screws to the right length for my hardware. When you're adding Would You Bend to furniture, you really need to heat it up well with a hairdryer or a heat gun before applying it. You then wanna add wood glue and probably heat it up again to ensure good adhesion. I was going to do a wood grain look on the top, so I'm adding two coats of Dixie Belle's Sandbar as the base colour. Next, I'm using Dixie Belle's Voodoo Gel Stain in Tobacco Road and their wood grain tool. When you're doing wood grain, you want to work in sections and apply your product. Then you're pulling the wood grain tool through the wet product. You can pull it through many times. If you make a mistake, you can paint back over or add more product. You can do layers. You really just don't want to be afraid to have a bit of a play with this process. In between strokes of the wood grain tool, I'm cleaning it with a paper towel. After you've done one side, it's the best idea to then go to the opposite side and draw your tool through that way. Holding your tool at different angles will give you different results and rocking the tool will create wood knots. I'm using Dixie Belle's Clear Best Stang Wax over the top. This provides protection, but it's also going to be a great base for when I come in with my brown coloured wax. I'm using Dixie Belle's Brown Best Stang Wax over the top to tone the colour of the piece. Next, I'll use an applicator pad to wipe off any excess and buff the wax. I'm repeating a similar process over the body of the piece using clear bestang wax and then brown wax. I really wanted quite a vintage aged look for this piece. I'm then going to wipe off any excess with an applicator pad.
The wax will also help the Dixie Dirt that I'm using to stick to the piece. Dixie Dirt is used again to age and give character to a piece and you can use as much or as little as you like. The wax will ensure that it stays there. Finally, I'm adding Dixie Belle's gold gilding wax to the Would You Bend details to add a little bit of interest. And this is the finished product. I hope you really like this makeover and that it's maybe inspired you to give something similar a go on something that you have at home. I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button. And if you like any of the products that I used on this project, head over to our website, theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. Thanks for watching.